Hi, first grade. Today we're going to talk about, we're going to continue talking about pale male, but I'm going to introduce you to some more information about pale male and what it meant for the city of New York to have his nest there. So our target today is I can form an opinion when presented with information about a topic. This word opinion means that you have a feeling about something. You like something or you feel strongly about something. And a lot of times we have different opinions. So my favorite food might be pizza. That is my opinion. But my sister's favorite food might be a hamburger. And even though I don't feel like hamburgers are good or pizza is better, there's ways that we express our opinions respectfully. We're going to talk more about that after I read this story to you, but remember an opinion means you have a strong feeling about something. So you, you have an opinion when we play games like would you rather. If I say would you rather be a unicorn or a tooth fairy? You have an opinion when you say oh I would rather be a tooth fairy because I want to fly around. That's an opinion, and you have an, a reason for your opinion. So I'm going to read a informational text to you guys about Pale Male and his nest. And the reason we're going to read an informational text is because that it gives us real information about a topic. So we've been doing a lot of reading in something called literary texts. Literary texts are stories that are fiction. They're made up. They have a character, they have a setting, they have a problem, they have a solution. We typically read the book from front to back because it has major events like beginning, middle, and end. And we read a lot of fiction in first grade. So when Miss A does read alouds with you guys like Make Way for the Ducklings or Giraffes Can't Dance or The Day the Crayons Quit, those are all examples of literary texts. Those are made up stories for fun. Informational texts are texts that are real. They give us information on a topic. And most of the time they have table of contents and an index. So some examples of informational texts that we have used in our classroom are those scholastic bird books. When we were doing a lot of research about particular birds um, and you guys would go into the table of contents Find the page that talked about beaks or feet or feathers and you would find that and it would give you real information about whatever topic you were looking up. We have had some other research texts in our classroom and Maggie the One-Eyed Peregrine Falcon, the book that we just read, is an informational text that talks about what happened to Maggie and it's based on real events. So today I'm going to read you an informational article. And an article usually comes in a magazine or a newspaper, and it's not typically presented to us in a book. But the name of this article is The Great Debate. And this word debate means it's a discussion. A discussion involving people who feel differently about something. So remember yesterday we talked about opinions. You have an opinion about certain things. But when somebody else disagrees with you or they have a different feeling, you can have a debate, which means you're going to discuss and share why you think your opinion is correct and give them the opportunity to share and discuss why they think their opinion is correct. And when we do that, we have to do it with respect and kindness because there's a lot of things in our world today that many people feel very strongly about and disagree with one another on. But just because you have a different opinion from someone else does not mean that you debate or you share your opinion in a rude way or in a hurtful way. So all of those great character traits that we've been learning about this year, especially including respect, is really important when we go to debate or we go to share our opinions with other people. So I'm going to read this article to you guys about what's best. So there's two groups of people in New York and they feel very strongly about pale male's nest. There's a group of people who believe that the nest should come down and pale male should not continue to live in the city. And then there's a group of people who feel like we should leave the nest up and the birds should be allowed to stay in the city. 
So I'm going to read you two sides of their feelings. I'm going to read you the opinion of the people who think the hawks should stay in the city and the opinion of the people who think that hawks should be moved out of the city. There's a couple words that we're going to come across in this text that I want to define for you guys ahead of time. The first word is nuisance. So something that is a nuisance, is it, it means it's annoying or it creates some problems. The word similar, we're going to come across similar. Similar means almost the same. And the last word that we'll come across is dine. And dine just means to eat. So when you eat pizza, you, you're dining on pizza. All right, here's our text. What's best? The debate about pale male's nest. Hawks in the big city. A special red-tailed hawk named Pale Male and his mate Lola are quickly becoming famous birds. Unlike most hawks who like to live in trees, these hawks built their nest on a tall building. And it isn't just any tall building. Pale Male and Lola found a fancy apartment building in New York City to use as their nesting place. Bird watchers, bird watchers are watching in amazement as these wild birds make a home for themselves right in the middle of the busiest cities in the world. Some neighbors who live in the apartment building are not quite as happy. They think these birds are a nuisance and something has to be done. In the end, the nest may need to be removed. All these bird watchers are angry and upset, but others think it is the right thing to do. There are usually two sides to every story. Bird watchers. Want, bird watchers want what's best for the birds. Leave that nest up, the bird watchers are saying. They think the nest should stay up where it is. Birds need nests to protect and raise their babies. Tall buildings are good places for birds to nest because they are similar to trees, a hawk's natural nesting place. Also, the hawks can easily find food in the big city. They love to dine on rats, mice, and pigeons. The bird watchers also think that leaving the nest up is great for the people who enjoy watching wild birds. There are many reasons why these people want the nest to be left up on the building. These hawk lovers will be so sad if the nest is taken down. That nest is a mess. Many of those who live in the apartment building want the nest to be taken down. Take that nest down, they are saying. Bones, feathers, and bird poop fall onto their balconies and the sidewalk below the nest. What a mess, they complain. There are many other reasons why some people want the nest to be taken down too. The bird watchers who gather to watch the hawks are making the area too crowded. Also, parts of the nest fall onto the sidewalk below, which is dangerous for the pedestrians who walk there. In New York City, it is legal, which means it's okay, to remove a bird nest as long as there are no babies or eggs in it. There are no eggs or baby birds yet, and they think Pale Male and Lola can find a better place to live. For all these reasons, many people think the city should take the nest down. What do you think should happen to the nest? So I want you to vote. So we read two sides, right? We read the sides of the bird watchers that want the nest to stay up. And they gave you a list of reasons why they think the nest should stay up. Then we read the opinion of the people that want the nest to be taken down and moved to the wild and they gave you a list of reasons why they feel like the nest should come down. So I want you to create an opinion. I want you to form an opinion on whether or not you think that the nest should stay up in the city or the nest should come down and Pale Male and Lola should be moved to the wild and build their nest in a tree. So think back to the target. You're going to form an opinion when presented with information about a topic. So you have both sides of the story and now it's your turn to vote. I want you to create a video or send me a written message and tell me what you think should happen to the nest. Share your opinion with me. The nest should come down or the nest should stay up. And tomorrow we're going to get into the specific reasons for why each side feels the way they do about the nest staying up or the nest coming down. So submit your opinion on Dojo and we'll pick it up tomorrow.